Good day, I'm Doug. Uh, I've been fooling around with a little bit of uh, YouTube videos lately, and and I think it's time to step up my game just a little bit. I'm going to try to to get uh, a, a little bit better video quality. Uh, and I've been out on YouTube trying to look for what kind of cameras and this type of thing that I should be using. So uh, right now I'm currently using my uh, cell phone and a uh, little tripod to hold it up. And I think I would like to get to where I have a speaker because of the projects I work on in the shop here. Uh, a little bit better sound quality. I need to be able to walk around the projects that I'm working on and still be able to pick up on the microphone on, on whatever I'm filming it on. So I want to get uh, a little bit of a start. I've gone on to YouTube and looked around. Uh, I don't really find uh, somebody in my position, I guess, that they really don't know a whole lot about YouTube or how to film or how to do any of this stuff. So I'm going to try to get started and see how we work out with it. I've uh, got out there and uh, with my little bit of knowledge, I've gone to Amazon and found a, a video camera, hopefully, that you know advertises this 4K video and, and it's uh, supposed to be YouTube friendly and this type of thing. So I found a, a camera and it's come in. So I'm going to go to the uh, unboxing of this and kind of go through the steps really from, from start to finish uh, of my learning experience on how to get started in some of this. Uh, like I say, I do have some videos out there and they've done all right, but I definitely don't have the uh, the followers and the, and the likes that I need. And uh, all this is something hopefully it'll maybe one day pay back. Um, most of the videos out there that I see are, are camera systems set up that are pretty expensive in my opinion. Uh, just starting out, I don't get monetized for this. So I can afford a couple hundred dollars maybe to put into a camera system. Is that enough to really get me some decent pictures and give me the options of, of getting something put together that people would like to watch? Um, so anyways, I've ordered it. They've come in on Amazon. And I'm going to go ahead and go through uh, unboxing it, see what comes in the box, kind of go over it and let you see my mistakes. I, I think that uh, a lot of this is unedited just because I like to watch people make mistakes and so that I don't make those same mistakes and, and uh, we'll keep it up with that. So let's get started with it. We're going to go ahead uh, and start out with uh, this is on my camera, Samsung phone. And hopefully by the time we get done with this video, I'll actually be using the equipment that we're going to be unboxing and putting together and figuring out. Um, I think probably my thoughts are first that I've got a camera that I've ordered. Uh, I've also ordered me a uh, cordless microphone because, like I said, I need to be able to move around on woodworking projects. As, as you know, you, you can't stand in one spot and I don't want to go in and do a voiceover because really don't think that's as effective. Um, so I've got those two things. I uh, probably will need to go ahead and unbox this, figure out what the batteries are, put them on charge for a while, and then uh, we'll continue on after they get charged. So we'll go ahead and get started on the unboxing. Okay, got two boxes. Both have come in. I don't know which one is which. This one's heavier, so probably the camera. So I think I'll go ahead and, and get started with that first. Uh, we'll go ahead and, and open that up and see what's in the box. All right, we'll go ahead and see what we what we get in the box. Ah, as most do, the uh, box comes in a box. And uh, it's supposed to be a 4K camcorder. Uh, let's see what we have here. And I'll try to put the, if this goes well, I'll try to put the the links in the, someplace on this video. Comes with an instruction manual. Has a small remote control. And uh, let's see. This, I believe, yes, is the shield that goes around the camera. I've seen that on a lot of them. I guess that keeps the sun out. I don't know. We'll screw that on later. Uh, looks like some uh, cables, USB cables, probably for charging. 
Um, I would guess this is the battery charger. And one battery. And that looks like that would go right in the charger. Start out with. I think this was supposed to have come with two batteries. I don't see a second battery yet. Well, maybe they installed it in it. It comes with the space. It's a fairly small camera, it looks like, so it should be easy to and compact. Uh, but it comes with a case. I hope you don't have a whole lot of accessories to try to go with it, though. It's, it's not going to hold it well. It does have a, a place for a belt or something, so you can wear the camera on your on the side if you needed to. Looks like it's packaged up fairly well. And this is the little camera. Okay. Looks like a decent little outfit. Little handle strap to hold on to. Uh, it's got a little screen on it that'll come out. So that, that looks like it'll work. Uh, I guess that can shoot either way. So when you're taking video of yourself, you you'll actually be able to see what you're doing. So that should help. A uh, couple of controls on the inside. See if we can kind of give you an idea what it is. And uh, the cover comes off on the lens. All right, let's see what else we have in the box. And the microphone comes in here. It goes on the top of it some fashion and it comes with instructions it looks like on how to mount that so we'll be able to read through that a little bit and this I guess is what they call the stabilizer Oops. which will hold the you put on the camera to uh, hold yourself and that comes with instructions also so we'll be able to read through that and this is, I guess, how we hold on to the camera, so that should probably go right on the bottom of the camera. We'll find out what all the other little features are. There's some places to bolt things to it, and a small anchor there. So I'm assuming that that has a hole on the bottom of it. It does. That's pretty easy to figure out. You can screw that right onto it and uh, position it. There we go. From what I saw, that's the way it's supposed to work, so let's go ahead and see if we can find the other battery, though, because I think we do need two of them. Okay, I had most of everything unpacked, except I did find one more cable in the box. So that pretty much, uh, another USB, looks like a micro connector on the other end. Maybe that goes to our uh, battery charger. We're going to look at that and see what that involves so we'll set that down uh and that's everything in the camera box so we're we're, we're good with that um so i think what i'm going to do is probably read just a few of the instructions and then uh once i figure out how we're gonna put all this together we'll we'll go back through it all and, and show you what we did all right so anyways i kind of skipped through some of that uh, I think the first thing we need to do is find that second battery, and I believe that the battery compartment is located on the bottom, so we need to take that back off, and there is something here, so, yep, looks like there's our second battery. So I think before we get anything started, we we'll remove that and put it into our charger. It fits in there nicely. Uh, there's a USB cable. So I have a feeling that's going to plug into that without any problem. It does. Uh, it does not have a charging block, so I'm going to have to find out where exactly we're supposed to plug this into without any kind of a power source. And then I kind of wonder what this other bag was of cables. Let's open them up and take a look what the ends are on there. Okay, that is the HDMI cable on that end. And this end is uh, another cable. I don't know if we can really focus on that or not. But uh, apparently this goes in. I did see a spot 
in here that said something on the back of the camera. There's a support here. That almost looks like it right there. So I don't know how we will be able to focus on that, but I think that's going to be the cable. If you want to go directly from your camera to the, say a TV or whatever, we'll be able to go into an HDMI output, I believe. Looks like the same. Yeah, that plugs right into that. So, and then that will go into it. The TV is your HDMI port. And I think eventually we'll be able to actually view the videos of it. So that'll be that cable. Uh, let's see, the microphone. That would be this. I think we need that on there. There's a small little plug or cover here. I don't know. I think we need to remove that in order to put this in. Got a screw hole too. We can look at it. We'll go through this a little bit more. Kind of fake it out for a minute and see what it takes. There we go. And then this has got to go plug in someplace. Which uh, I am sure that I'm an explorer, so I like to fool around. There is a spot here that says mic, so I'm going to guess that that microphone was going to plug right into that. And that kind of sets us up. I don't know if that cover really needs to be off like that. That kind of is a little bit strange, but maybe that is the way it goes. We'll find out about that, or if I even need it, if it's got another microphone someplace else built in. Uh, I'm not really sure just what exactly that's going to entail. All right. Uh, and the handle, like I say, is still here. So I'm going to, see, well, we've got our ring. And I think that should go on here. Let's see if we can pop that off of there. And I think, hmm, let me look at this a minute, see if I can figure something out here. Definitely comes apart. I guess I should stop, probably read the directions, would make this a little easier. Okay, so that goes on there. Looks like this. It sits on there. I think I'll have to stop and read the directions on that. See exactly how all this is supposed to, to hold together. It really looks like that should be all the way into that, but. Okay, we're going to stop and, and read some instructions on this part of it. See just what it is supposed to take to put together. And then we'll go from there. Okay, so we did find a uh, plug and we've got the uh, batteries in being charged. The two lights are on, so we'll see what happens with that. And I guess I'll start reading the manual and see what's next. Okay, so we have the uh, guard. I kind of don't really see a whole lot in the instructions, but I think I've got this one figured out. Uh, this portion of it. Left the nut on the back of it. I don't know. I guess that's probably for locking it down. So I just tightened it up for now. And uh, that simply does screw right onto, onto the lens. So it pretty much puts that in place. And then the big cover, it actually has some threads inside of here. And this has threads out here. And that just simply screws on to that. Now, the only thing I really kind of question about that is, as you recall, the carrying bag is surely not big enough to handle that. So the hood is, is really nice, except for that it probably... Uh, it's going to be something you're going to have to take off anytime you want to go traveling. So you'll have to pretty much disassemble the whole whole camera in the process. So that cuts on there. That locks down. And this, of course, will come around and plug back in. And that's your basic camera, uh, excluding the handle. So there we go. And this also, in reading the directions, says that we can... Uh, 
just plug the camera in uh, with the battery in it and it should indicate whether or not the battery is charged or not. So I'm going to take one of the batteries back out of that and uh, go ahead and place it back into this and see if we can do some charging right here in the phone. Uh, so we'll have to pay attention to which way this goes in. And if we look there, it's really pretty easy to tell because of the shape of the battery and the shape of the hole inside. It's kind of rounded onto one side and the little metal tags here will pretty much only fit one direction. So we can set those and press it in. Uh, the next problem we're going to have, I need a, a memory card in here. There's not one there. I have one ordered. Uh, it's not here today. I don't know if we can do anything else without that or not. We're going to try it though. Uh, and see if I can do it and hopefully the memory card will get here tomorrow and, and I can continue it at that point. Uh, we need to turn this on and uh, there we go. It's got a screen that comes up. I should be able to turn that that away there. Okay. So we can see it as we're recording. Uh, and the menu and everything is is on that. I don't know how well that's going to pick up. Recording while we're recording. So we'll go ahead and see if we can set the time and the day and all that. And the directions are in the book. Uh, pretty good for that. So we'll go ahead and get that done. I don't think I need to go through that step by step. And uh, when we get back to the next interesting thing, we'll, we'll go with that. All right. It's actually been a day or two. Uh, I got my SD card in that they recommended. This is one that I found uh, on Amazon when uh, I bought the camera. So we can go ahead and open this up and we've got to insert this and format it. So we're going to see if we can cut it open and, and put it in without damaging the card. Sometimes the packaging is the most dangerous part. All right. <clears throat> so it looks like we have the battery compartment. We can open that up. And it shows the... I don't know, there's a little hole back in there. We're going to take that and it shows it. Yes, one direction here. Zoom is the correct one. Okay, so the metal tabs on the disc go to the outside towards the, the screen. So like we got those installed and then we should able to format that. Unsupported file system, do you want to format? So we're going to go ahead and say format. And I did figure out this is a touch screen. Uh, it does pretty good. We've I've set the time and date on it, uh, which wasn't real difficult. And it looks like it's doing what it's supposed to do. I guess the only way to know for sure is to go ahead and try to record, I, I, I guess. Let's try that one time. Let's see if it'll record or tell us otherwise. And we're recording with it. I don't have the microphone or anything hooked up to it, so I'm going to just uh, record just a little bit. And we'll show it, show it back off. And... Uh, I'll include what that did with the, just the microphone on it and see if it worked out. Okay, so on this one, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and see what it takes to actually look at the file on my computer. And I've plugged the regular charging cable into a available USB port there. So we're going to go ahead and uh, on the back where it has the little USB, we're going to go ahead and plug that in. 
Okay, I've plugged that in, and now we're going to, let's see, I think we open this screen up. Let's see what it does here. It brings up a welcome screen. And it brings up a small menu. And I think we need to select the mass storage mode. It'll bring up your USB. On my computer, then it brought up a screen. It gives me several choices. And I can go ahead and get my mouse on here. And if it's like most of them, you'll want to go to DCMI, probably media. And there's a video. And there's the the video I shot earlier. And it has a microphone and all, so we'll, we'll turn that volume off a little bit. So that was it. So that worked. That's how we get a file off of there. Of course, at that point, I can... Uh, copy and paste it and do whatever I want to with just that file and it'll work fine. Uh, I don't know what the rest of these files are, but I don't think we need them. In my computer knowledge, that says we're good to go. So we can go ahead and close that back down and and shut the, the camera back off. Now the next thing I want to do is I do have the microphone that we had and uh, I've got it ready to go. I think, except for there is a battery in here, uh, and it just has the, the back of this slides off, and you see there's a battery in here, and it's wrapped in a, in a cellophane, uh, so you have to remove that and get it put back in there without all that wrapping on there so that it uh, can work, and we'll go ahead and hook that back up on the front of this and see if the sound, how the sound works on that. So we slide that in place and tie it down, and we're good to go. Uh, I'll plug that back into the back side. Let's see what kind of sound quality we get off of that. Okay, we're going to go ahead and just give this a try. Uh, I want to see if the microphone picks up, how well it picks up, if the camera is sitting away from me a little ways. I know that this is one of the big problems I have, so we're going to set the camera down. And I'm just simply going to walk away and see just how much the sound picks up on this camera microphone from a distance. Uh, I don't know just what it's going to sound like. So this is just kind of a trial to see if my next pro process is exactly what I'm going to end up needing. As I'm going to, uh, like I say, I have the mic that actually attaches to my collar. And we're going to see if that helps any. Uh, at the distance. So we're going to test this a couple different ways and see just what I really need. Okay, I've got my camera basically set up and I'm going to try the mic and I tried the distance on the other one. I actually thought I had the thing on, but this actually has on, off, and zero decibel and 20 decibel. So I can turn it on. Zero would be standard recording as it sits and if I'm close to it. And then the plus 20 is for distance so I'm going to try to test this in a couple of different s spots and see what the difference is between just the camera mic and uh, the two other settings so we'll go ahead and run the new camera and see what it does okay this is going to be the standard mode on the microphone with uh, the new one I'm going to get back a few feet and see just how much it picks up without uh, a problem and then I'm going to come back on this trip and we're going to switch the setting up to the plus 20 decibel and I'm going to do the same test and walk back and see if the uh, sound difference actually is a significant or not and uh, I'll kind of test what, uh, what the microphone's capable of picking up and we'll add that to it to see what it does. So the last thing we need to do, ah, the remote. So we do need to take that, and there's a little plastic here. We should be able to pull that out, and that should uh, be able to do something here. Let's see. Don't know exactly what all it's capable of doing, but I think it'll stop it. So we're going to try that.
Yeah, well, that doesn't seem to work, so we're going to have to play with this a little bit. Okay, so we, uh, we're working with the remote, trying to get it to work, and uh, I think what the problem is is that I had the lens cover on there, and apparently it must cover portion of the uh, IR that this sends out, because uh, when I've taken it off, it actually works, so I can press my buttons and, and record and stop it from recording. So uh, if you happen to have that problem, might be the solution you're looking for also. Uh, and that'll get the uh, camera to, to start recording and working off of this. Okay, so next thing we're going to try, we've uh, done a little bit of testing with the uh, microphone on the camera, the external microphone, and I'm going to now uh, open the next box up that we've got, which is the mic for the collar, and see if that enables me to walk around the shop and, and work with that. So we'll go ahead and open the box up and see what's in this one. Okay, let's see if we can get this opened up and see if we can uh, see what it comes with. Of course, boxes in a box. Put that to the side and wireless microphone. something we'll have to check that out and another uh, mic and it comes with the I assume the battery pack and the one to clip to my shirt and it comes with the UHF transmitter uh, looks like there's batteries and everything already in it because I hit the little button when I pulled it out and I saw a little blue light flashing in here on the, on the top already. Don't know as though we're ready for that yet. Might want to read the directions before I get to that. Uh, that looks like it for that. And then looks like it's got also a couple of cables. So let's see. Got a small jack that looks like it uh, fits on top of this. Maybe it turns it from a three pin. I don't know how well that's going to show up. Uh, three pins on there or the four. I'm not sure exactly what we have to do with that, so we're going to read the directions on that and then it comes with a USB cord and okay apparently that's got the regular micro USB split into two so maybe we need to uh, have these are rechargeable so we'll have to uh, see what exactly that does do Time to read the directions. Okay, so after we've reviewed the directions a little bit, we find that, yes, the cable uh, does charge the two. And on there, there's a little screen that shows you how the battery capacity is. And you can scroll through the menu on the volume and... Uh, the other mode by pushing this volume is 8 and the C is for frequency so you can change it if it has interference with the uh, receiver so that's what that's for and the 
plug on the end of it like I say that is added to it uh, and in the directions it says that it uh, depends on the type of connection you have if you're going into a uh, recorder or, or a phone and depending on your style that you have uh, which one you'll use and in my uh, camera that I'm using I have to have that adapter put back on there and that would match the connector of my external microphone that I use on a regular basis so I'd say match it up with what you're plugging into if you have one already and uh, it should work fine and the quality uh, of sound and distance appears to be good uh, let's show a little sample of that okay we're now testing the mic that it attached to us um, charts it up a little bit I matched the cables to the external mic on my camera that I already have to see if this works so we're going to see what kind of distance this picks up at and just test it as I tested the other microphones and see if it works and how far I actually can get away from it I'm supposed to be able to go quite the direction that's about as far as I probably will go on most occasions so we're going to give that much a try and uh, see if that's actually done what I needed to do okay so for the microphone uh, give the rounded up on it we took it out of the box uh, do need to let it charge for approximately two hours and then uh, you can turn it on and hook it up plug it into your thing and it basically took right off and has worked right from the start uh, so it seems to have some pretty good distance so we're going to do a real quick walk to the other end of the shop and see if this picks up sound all the way back here I'm going to be approximately uh, at this point uh, 50 feet 45 feet from from the camera so we're just testing to see if that's sufficient or not and how well it does travel other than that I'm really satisfied with the uh, microphone I believe so we'll leave this as the review okay so I think we can go ahead and wrap this up and safely say that uh, a camera for uh, well basically it's $140 uh, it's a good camera takes a good picture it's got a lot of features I, I don't see any any features I uh, am missing uh, I haven't played with them all of course I'll, I'll get into that a little bit more uh, but for, like I say uh, basically a $140 camera the look the mic that I put on uh, performed probably better than I really thought it would easy to set up the cameras easy to set up uh, that was $40 so really less than a than $200 and I think I've got a good camera set up and a good setup to try to make some good YouTube videos and uh, make it a little bit easier than doing it on a uh, cell phone for the money it, it should do well and use it for just home videos or whatever around the house too so in wrapping that up uh, I recommend it for right now uh, uh, you'll be the judge uh, from here on out when I'm, I'm posting videos uh, I'd love to have you subscribe and, and like my channels uh, let me know if there's something that uh, you'd like to see me review and open up and uh, we'll do what we can but but it, it surely helps uh, to subscribe to my channel and, and, and to like it and I would appreciate it thank you and everybody have a Blessed day.